Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to install a keyless lock system on the RV. It's gonna make things a lot easier. Um, not only do we have the number code, um, but we also have one little wireless remote, kind of like you have for your car. So it's gonna make getting in and out of the RV a lot easier. Uh, we also have some tumbler locks that we're replacing today. These are going to go on our storage door compartments, uh, not the pass-through storage, but the other two um, storage compartments for where the TV and the kitchen are, because those are the CH751s, which are pretty standard and a lot of people have keys to. So we're gonna replace that today as well. Stick around. So we are installing a keyless lock today on the RV. Um, we chose an RV lock brand it got a lot of really good reviews and um, it didn't hurt that they were having a pretty good sale when we bought this. So uh, we chose the model that's a little shorter. They have a longer one that's got the full buttons on it, but this seemed to fit for what we want. As soon as I took it out of the box, I knew it was gonna be a pretty easy install. You've got four screws and they just fit together like that. So if you have ever installed a regular door lock on a house, you'll be able to install this no problem. Um, I am going to go ahead and follow the instructions because that way Katie doesn't yell at me and um, we make sure we do it right on the first time. But I think this is going to be a pretty pretty easy install and I hope this is a good upgrade for us. So the directions, pretty easy, come on a card. Basically says you want to latch your door in, in the open position, remove the existing four screws, remove the screws from the strike plate here, and then you want to install everything. Um, pretty much just the reverse of how this came out, but you'll be connecting battery wires. Um, align and attach the back handle while tucking excess wire. Use a screwdriver to install the four screws. Um, only tighten them enough to keep the lock securely against the door. Adjust, straighten, and once it's fully straightened, tighten it all the way, and then you're on to programming the lock. So we'll get to that part in a minute. So let's go ahead and remove this guy and see how bad it is to install the new one. Drop a note. That's okay. That is. And that just comes right off. There's a hole in our door. So here's our front. And we'll just make sure the wire gets tucked through the back. And slide it on in there. Not too bad, huh? All right. Glad I chose the shorter one. Yeah. I think the longer one would have come out more. It's a little weird. So the next step is to attach the back of the plate. So we want to connect this, line up, here's the place where the lock goes, and then the four screw holes. So, do that now. They say you should hear a beep. Hold this down. Get everything lined up. Okay. 
Okay, so got the four screws in, uh, not tightened all the way, but just enough, and had this held down. The trick is to make sure that the red is in the right position. So now you can see it should come out. I mean, this is not tightened either, so. but everything should work out now. So now we need to position this in the right way which we may not have and that's how does that look is that crooked a little crooked it needs to come down on that side a little just a just a millimeter really that looks better from the back all right see the sure. Sink these in. Sink this one in. Yeah. Now we'll lock these down. Hopefully it still looks straight. Yep. Yes. All right. Lock seems to work. Uh, that is not locked, so let's. But first, let me make sure that the spare keys are out here. Just <laughs> yeah. Found them. Oh, good. All right. So we do have the keys out here. We have the keys out here and the remote. Okay. So it's shut. Uh huh. And it opened. Uh huh. A little, a little tight. It says if there's a little trouble, we can adjust the strike plate on the jam side over here. Okay. So, I almost feel like it needs to come out this way a little bit. <laughs> if that made it better or worse. Did it click? Alright. This is about the same. Here. Let me see. Need clean yet? Yeah. It's definitely a stronger close, if that makes any sense, if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Where'd you put those keys? Malcolm has them. I'm them? playing a dangerous game. Yes. <laughs> you know, let's see if it locks, actually. Can't you just hit that lock button? Yeah, but do it manually first. I mean, that is closed. Yeah. All right, let's go inside really quick and see how it works. Okay. All right, so I know it's not gonna work like this. We just don't have enough pull on the screen door, which is right. fine. But like that, that's fine. Yeah. It's easy to open. Well, let's see if we can close it quietly. That's no louder than it was before. No. So this is a problem, pulling tight here, it does come up a little bit. Um, and the whole reason quiet closed because of the toddler for us. It may not be a concern for you. All right, watch your hand, buddy. Watch your hand. But I mean, that's closed now. Yeah. So. A little bit different closed, but I, it'll be fine. Yep. We just can't pull it tight from a we got to get a little distance on it. Yeah, that's all right. And then lock. And you're not going anywhere. All right, so now you have to program your new key in um, or your new code. So you hold down the eighth button while simultaneously pressing the lock button, and then you release both. If you hear a long confirmation beep, you have entered programming mode. So it says you need to hit the eight button and then the lock button and let go. The long beep lets you know you're in programming mode. So hold down eight. 
Let go. Now we enter in the code, the default code. Hit the lock button. And now we enter whatever our new code is going to be. Mm-hmm. So... Click away! <laughs> and hit the lock button. And then hit one more time. And that should be our new code now. And there you go. All done. All done. So now we get to program the remote. So we turn the switch on at the back handle of the door, press and release the FOB learn button, which is the, and then a short quick beep will confirm that the handle has entered programming mode. Press and release a lock button on your remote until the handle confirms a sync with a long beep, which may take two or three clicks. And then finally press the lock unlock button to confirm successful actuation of your handle. All right. Sounds easy enough. Sure. So you want orange or black? Because it looks like you can pro program two black, two locks. Oh, weird. Um, Think orange? orange? Yeah. All right. So let's try this. So you've got your on button here. So you'll need a pin or something here. Here we go. Sounds about right. So we'll <laughs> hit the lock button here. So if we lock it, there we go. And then if we unlock it, And we're done. All right. So that was not the 10 minute install they promised. Well, that's okay. For we... a lot of people it might be, but it's okay. It was actually pretty easy. Um, and without help of Boots McGee over there, it probably would have gone a little quicker. Those are on the wrong feet, son. <laughs> so anyway, that was the lock install. Yeah. It is also worth mentioning that because we ordered our tumbler replacements and our door lock at the same time from rvlock.com, they keep them all the same. So we have one key that does our front door, deadbolt, and our baggage locks now. So that's pretty nice. So now we're going to see about replacing these tumbler locks here. These um, cargo doors these cargo side panel doors like this all have pretty much the same key so if so if you have an rv you probably have a key to these things these are pretty easy to take off you'll just um unscrew that piece there and the whole thing comes out and then you'll replace it with the the new tumbler should be easy peasy. Hopefully these are the right size. So we'll see. So you've got a, a nut here to loosen. Take that off. And then now your tumbler should drop right out. These replacements don't have the screw Instead, they they don't have the screw like the other ones do. Instead, they've got a locking nut that comes down. You've got a seal there, seal for the outside, your other locking nut, and then the lock and the latch. So we'll get these put on. Now we've got this on. Everything seems to work great. Close the lid. And we're locked so that's good all right so that wraps up the video the um the lock for the main door is pretty good we like it so far uh it's a lot easier to open from the outside a little harder to close from the inside but that's okay um we love the convenience of having the numeric code and the little key fob remote 
Now you do have to, it seems, you have to keep the um, top part unlocked. So in order to use those automatic features, but that's okay. I, the top locks are usually um, accessible through a master key anyway. So really it's the deadbolt that keeps you secure. So if you found our video useful, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to our channel. We've got tons of videos like this, plus our travel vlogs. Uh, we're here in Crater Diamond State Park in Arkansas. And um, that video, if it's not out already, will be shortly. Uh, so please uh, click the bell icon when you subscribe and you'll get notified when we upload new videos like this. And we sure appreciate everybody watching. Thank you so much. Leave us a comment below as well. Um, let us know your experiences with these kind of locks, changing out the tumblers, the RV locks, whatever. So until next time, thanks so much.